Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to discuss the surface area of common solids and we are going to look at the KCSE 2015 Mathematics Paper 1, number 23. The figure below represents a conical flask. Then the flask consists of a cylindrical part and a frustum of a cone. We have a cylindrical part and a frustum of a cone. The diameter of the base is 10 centimeters while that of the neck is 2 centimeters. The vertical height of the flask is 12 centimeters because we have 10 centimeters and 2 centimeters for the cylindrical part. We are taught to calculate one decimal place the slant height of the frustum part. So let's look at how to approach this question. We can see we have the vertical height provided. So up to this point, we have a vertical height of 10 centimeters. Then we have a diameter of two and at the base we have another diameter of two. So we can first of all calculate the vertical height of the original cone from which the first part was obtained. So we can extend such that we can get an original cone from which the first part was obtained and we can get its vertical height by saying the smaller h which was obtained and the total height which will be now 10 plus that smaller height which was obtained. So we can say 10 plus the smaller h which was obtained according to similarity and enlargement, that total height divided by the smaller height would give us the same ratio as when we take this, the bigger diameter of the original cone of 10 divided by the smaller diameter of the smaller cone that was obtained, and this is 2. So we can cross multiply such that this point will get 20 plus 2h equals to 10h and we can say now we have 8h equals to 20 then to get h we will have to divide 20 with 8 this gives us 2.5 centimeters therefore the smaller cone that was, was cut off to give us a first term of a cone is having 2.5, which means the capital height of the original cone then was 10 plus 2.5, and that would be 12.5 mm. centimeters. Now with the smaller h and the capital H, we can obtain part A and part B, whereby we are told to calculate the slant height of the first term part and to also calculate the slanting height of the smaller cone that was cut off. So we can get slant height, slant height of part A now. Let me start by getting slanting height of the original cone. Because we have a vertical height of 12.5 and a radius now of 5, then we can use Pythagoras theorem. 12.5 vertical height and a base of 5 to get this landing height. So capital's landing height would be 12.5 squared plus 5 squared. Then we obtain the square root. This is going to be 12.5 squared plus 5 squared. Then we obtain square root. This is going to be 13.46. 13.46, but we've been told to one decimal place, so 5 centimeters. This is the capital's landing height, but now we want for the first term, which means we will need to first of all obtain landing height of the smaller cone that was cut off. And for the smaller cone, we will have to use, remember the diameter here is 2, so which means we can use 1 centimeter as the base here, radius, then the height is 2.5. So we can say the small slanting height will be 2.5 squared 
plus 1 squared then the square root so we're going to have 2.5 squared plus 1 squared then we take square root this is going to be 2.69 2.69 and instead of 69 we can have 0.7 centimeters to one decimal place therefore this is the small slanting height which means now part a slanting height of the frustum slanting height of the frustum is going to be when we take the original slanting height and we subtract the small slanting height and this is going to give us when we take 13.5 minus 2.7 this will give us 10.8 centimeters therefore slanting height of the first arm will be 10.8 this is part a of the question and this one is part b of the question now after obtaining the slanting heights we can proceed to solve part c the external surface area of the flask and the pi we will take is 3.142 so let's get to the calculation of the surface area now the surface area external remember this is a flask so we have the top of the flask here so we don't have a surface here this is open but we have the base which is closed so we have three surfaces here we have a base which is circular then a conical part a first time for this matter then we have a cylindrical top so we can start with the circular base circular base whereby we use pi r squared a pi of 3.142 times 5 squared 3.142 times 5 squared this gives us 78.55 78.55 but remember we are calculating everything to one decimal place according to this question so instead of 5, 5, we have 0. 0.6. Then after the circular base, we can also get the conical part <clears throat> or the frustum part. To get the frustum part, we have to get pi r squared, okay, pi r l, whereby this one is the bigger curved surface of the original cone, then minus pi r l small letters the curved surface area of the smaller cone that was cut off so we will have 3.142 a radius of 5 times an original slanting height of 13.5 then we subtract 3.142 times a radius of 1 multiplied by a slanting height of 2.7 the one which was cut off therefore we can get the two curved surfaces and we subtract them 3.142 times 5 times 13.5 this gives us 212.08 212 which means 0.1 then minus 3.142 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2.7 this gives us 8.48 which means 8.5 so when we take 212.1 minus 8.5 this will give us 203.6 centimeters squared then now we finish by getting the top which is circular which is cylindrical sorry the cylindrical part of this flask so the cylindrical part will be given by pi d h 
and we have a pi of 3.142 multiplied by a diameter of 2 and a height of 2. A height of 2. Because we have a height of 2 and a diameter of 2. So we're going to have 3.142 times 2 times 2 12.56 which means 12.6 centimeters squared then we obtain what we call total surface area which is going to be given by the first is base 78.6 plus the first and part 203.6 plus the top 12.6 so I'm going to add up 78.6 plus 203.6 plus 12.6 this is going to give us 294.8 294.8 square centimeters so this is the total surface area thank you for following subscribe and share